Hello everyone. How to find the value of x for the exponential equation? x power x power x equals x power x. Everyone can see for the equation you need to use logarithms, right? But it's always a start. Everyone can see when x is not equals zero, right? So therefore, it's also x power x is not equals equals zero two yes and so you can write x power x power x equals x power x and then you need to divide it both sides by x power x because x power x is not equal to zero so you can write x power x power x over x power x equals equals one yes in this step you need to apply the exponential properties you can say a power n a power n a power m equals a power n minus m yes and so for the equation you can say x power x power x minus minus x equals equals one yes and so everyone can see the equation is in form a a power b equals equals one yes and so we have two three cases three cases for the equation firstly everyone can see for the base equals equals one right and so b the power is belongs real numbers yeah and for next for the case two we can say the by by a equals minus one right and b the power equals two two k in this k in this case k belongs integers yes and so for the last case we can say for power equals zero and and base a is not equals equal zero yes and so far therefore we need to apply for for the equation here you can say x power x power x minus x equals equals one right firstly everyone can see firstly here a equals one so therefore x equals equals one yes and b so therefore x power x minus x here equals one power one minus one equals zero yeah b yes is which is acceptable for b belongs real number yeah yes firstly you have the solution x equals equals one and then so first yeah case two x equals minus one x equals minus one we can write x power x minus x equals minus one power minus minus one minus x so is equals one minus one minus x minus x sorry plus one so it's equals equals zero yes equals zero and so you can see b the the by sorry the power is equal to k yeah so therefore for x equal one right which is acceptable as well therefore we can have one more solution yeah yes and so for step three case three you can say b equals zero Therefore, you can say x power x minus 
x equals equals zero. Yes. So therefore, we can say x power x equals equals x. And so we have two cases for that. X equals plus or minus plus or minus one, right? So and then therefore we can say we have some value of x firstly x equals one second x equals minus one yeah therefore the the original equation had two solutions x equals one and x equals minus one so thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe my channel love you all bye bye